Hey Wednesday here, welcome to first person tennis overview. About the damn time we were getting an official tennis game for Quest. I feel like it was possible to play that particular sport before, cause when Quest 1 released back in the day there was something called Sports Scramble and it was essentially like a mashup of different things like Wii Sports style. But at least now there's gonna be a dedicated game for this so let's see. So first person tennis is a true tennis simulator where well we do that we play. <laughs> Way back in the day I used to play badminton which for me hits very close in terms of mechanics and just the overall vibe of that sport. I always wanted to play tennis though I think I was just too intimidated by the fact that the ball travels at so high speed that it could like knock me out any second on the court. So that's essentially why I chose to play badminton. Apparently this project is not new since like we're getting a lot of ports from PC VR nowadays and this is no exception. What I'm mostly gonna be looking forward is purely the mechanics and how it's gonna just work with the gameplay. So far the only time I've tried tennis was in all in one sports VR where it was very comfortable to play even though I don't have much space at my apartment. The main feature that kinda solved the whole issue was like a sliding movement every time ball comes to you. So you don't need to throw yourself around and run around like an idiot. You can do that in real life. It's just very dangerous and I would easily hit a wall here. The core still stayed the same like you would play tennis just as usual it's just the movement was taken out of equation and I think I see in the list of features that it's one of the options of the gameplay so I think we're gonna be fine. It looks a little bit amateurish but if the gameplay will feel good then that's all I can ask for honestly for quest. Let's go play tennis! All right, hopefully I won't destroy my controllers today. Oh, we can manually up the FPS rate, that's fun. I guess let's do everything on ultra, if quest 2 can handle it. Yeah, everything's smooth so we'll see. Let's start with the training, I'm just mostly curious about the movement and how it's gonna just revolve around that. So we surely are not going to teleport, run in places like movement and then you go to the net and the third option sliding run through the court i think that's the one that i'm familiar with though every time i would be where the ball would land not to go to the net i guess let's do automatic run maybe it's gonna be fine self to me or i have the ball <laughs> of course second service that was strong oh yeah because okay i'm mixing with the badminton love Second service. <laughs> yes, I'm trash. What about it? It's sliding where I have the space to hit the ball. Okay. Love. Should I simulate the audio sound effects? <laughs> Forty love. Hi yeah. Second service. Yes, and uh, maybe it helps. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's do the normal match. I guess the tour is like a campaign mode. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the customization now. <laughs> there is some selection to it, so if you prefer that... Oh, I can choose the skills. I'll do my stats according to how I thought I was playing badminton. <laughs> yeah, that would be correct. We're playing first with Melbourne. <laughs> let's see. There is a crowd. Wait, they have faces or no? <laughs> the sun is shining. Second service. Yes, I know. I have to serve in the opposite direction that I am. Oh wait, the settings turned off. Oh no, here I choose. Okay, kind of weird, but let's see. Oh shit! <laughs> I would hit my PC. <laughs> New. Beautifully done. But that wasn't correct. Oh, there are <laughs> sound effects, yes. True to life. I mean, it's not, you know, challenging in a way that you don't need to move. It does it automatically. But in VR it's just gonna be like hard to reproduce. Second service. Oh shit. See? That's what I meant. I'm just scared to kids stuff you. Second service. Okay, let me try different movement modes. So run in place, I have to swing my arms, I think. Second service. Come on. <laughs> uh. 
and Love 30. I think I understood it incorrectly. Let's press joystick and simulator one. All right. Actually, it's not that bad, but then Love I can't easily miss a ball. Love okay. 40. Let. No, it's net. <laughs> Let. <laughs> Yeah, maybe automatic is like too beneficial. It just feels more natural, but then the performance is way worse. New challenger to play with me. Oh, hi. Are you new to the game? Yeah. Let. And I guess to tennis as well, though I used to play badminton when I was a teenager, so I guess it's kind of similar, but not really. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like figuring out the different movement modes because in one tennis game automatic sliding is like the most optimal because I don't have much space to play in. Right, that's most of us. Oh, okay. Um, Are you familiar with the game or like you... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think it That's was on App lot. Lab, right? Yeah, well, it was on App Lab. And did you, when did you get this game? <laughs> Minutes ago. Okay, oh. you, you, play, you play pretty good for just being on for a couple of minutes. No, no, I uh, tell you, it's I just guess... purely the badminton experience. Like, tennis and badminton to me is very much similar, it's just different racket. The rules are... Yes. Almost exactly the same, but... Well, my suggestion to you, since you play so well naturally, <laughs> you should make your, make yourself a, a, a player profile under multiplayer. Because everybody that starts off, the default name is player. So you'll, if you look on the list, there's like a million people that name player. <laughs> and if you play well, you should make your own profile so that if, like, if... If I saw your name, if I knew your name, and I saw your name, I'd look for you to go play with. But <laughs> it's hard to find people if everybody's name is player. Right. There's gonna be more and more players to play. I guess you can oh, yeah. say that it's the first official tennis game, like on the official Quest Store. I've yes, played in uh, all-in-one sports VR before. That's when I discovered like this sliding movement is the most optimal in VR yes. for tennis. I've tried the other ones. They seem very much challenging. So... I guess you can't really go straight to the net and do like, you know... Oh yeah, you fast can. strike. Yeah, but with automatic, it's like you mean like you just rely on the corners. <laughs> you know how to go, go to the net? Like when you're locked into automatic uh, sliding motion? Yeah, you. If you the joystick, if you press the joystick in, it'll take you to the net. Okay, I'll see. For, for example, here. Oh shit! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. 15. And then if you, if you press it again, it'll take you back to the baseline. Oh, uh, okay. I, <laughs> I wanted to be smart. <laughs> Guess it's time to play more aggressively. Oh, no, no. We're fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not playing at 100%. I'm just... Oh. <laughs> if, if it's a new person... Advantage. If it's a new person, I kind of take it easy and just... <laughs> the strokes, try to stay in the middle, just so you can get used to it. I don't, I don't <laughs> oh, here's a here's a here's a tip. Um, if you know how you're right-handed, you know how you you hit the trigger on your left hand to throw the ball up. Hmm. Okay, if you hit the trigger on your right hand, it throws it straight up and down. 
Oh, okay. And you can put wherever you put wherever you put the racket, that's where it'll throw it up. So if you hold the trigger down on your racket hand and then move your racket to wherever Yeah, I see. You're not holding it, are you? Oh. <laughs> it's helpful for me because I have less than a meter to hit a wall, so Hi. Good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's where the no. sliding Sorry. does not I, work. <laughs> I couldn't resist that. <laughs> the ball go into your hand. All right, <laughs> it was good playing. Okay. Well, I'm very glad that I encountered someone that actually plays the game. All in all, as a first tennis game, it's not that bad. I guess you can say that the graphics are simplistic and stuff like that. The mechanics are there, though. If you really try to serve stuff in the corners with the automatic sliding, it's like impossible to get it either. You go into the wall, you kill a dog, things are happening. So like, just test out the movement style you prefer. I might be playing this more simply because of just the nostalgia of badminton. This game was out for a while, so there's a community that is eager to play with other people. I wonder if it's like possible to play doubles, like, you know, two people on the side. I don't really have time to see it now, but with the original thought, if the mechanics were here to work, then it's a good game to me and it proved itself.